What is the best option for dark circles under the eyes? These dark circles make me look tired and beat up. What is the best option for treatment? I've researched a number of solutions such as laser treatments, chemical peeling, and ejectable fillers. Surgery is not an option. Thank you for your question. You're asking what, is the best, what are the best options for dark circles under the eyes? And you write in detail how they make, the dark circles make you look tired. So, certainly dark circles under the eyes is one of the most common concerns that people have. In fact, um, if you go to any retailer, especially a large um, makeup or, or skin care retailer, you're going to find lots of creams for dark circles under the eyes. So, I'm going to just uh, give you a little bit of background about myself. I'm a cosmetic oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon uh, practicing in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years. I specialize in uh, cosmetic surgery of the eyes and face. And the dark circle uh, question is something I've dealt with my whole career. And I can be, say that we have more options today than we did 20 years ago. But we always begin by the solution is based on what the underlying problem is. Now, in the photo is submitted, it's clear that you're very young. And so we would not necessarily use the same modalities for you as we would for someone who's older. So in your situation, the dark circles may be related to issues such as sinus problems or allergies. Very often, the dark circles under the eyes, especially in young people, are referred to as allergic shiners. What this means is the blood kind of pools under the eyes and the, um, the element called hemosiderin, a part of the blood, can uh, theoretically or conceptually uh, stain the tissue. Um, but which bottom line for you is that managing allergies and sinus issues, if any, should be top priority. Other reasons for dark circles under the eyes have to do with skin color. In people with lighter skin, the dark circles tend to be the result of the translucency of the skin. In other words, the skin, which is only half a millimeter in thickness, is practically transparent. So you can see the underlying uh, blood vessels and muscle, as well as the bone structure. And of course, bone structure also has a role in this. As we get older or we have a lot of sun exposure, then dark circles can be due to pigmentation related to sun damage, wrinkling, and of course, there is ethnic dark circles or pigmentation due to skin color. In our practice, we often manage dark circles with a combination approach. Now, this may not apply to you, again, because you're younger and we generally tend to be more conservative. With a younger person, we try to treat underlying issues as well as use conservative topical th uh, treatments, whether it's sunblock, moisturizers, something to help improve the skin quality on the exterior, especially if the younger person is doing a lot of activities outside, they're playing sports, or they're, they're I into some kind of activities where they spend a lot of time outside. For other people, we have, off we have done things such as fractional CO2 laser. Uh, this is a laser to treat the external skin. Uh, we've done uh, a treatment called using platelet-rich plasma. Platelet-rich plasma is derived from your own blood, and it's actually used um, for wound healing. And what we've figured out is a method to use it under the skin of the eyelid to help improve the skin quality, resulting in improvement in dark circles. For people with under eye hollows or cheek volume loss, we combine platelet-rich plasma with a filler like Restylane or Juvederm, something like in the hyaluronic acid family to add volume. Again, with younger people, we try not to do these more invasive procedures or procedures that require a lot of maintenance. Within our own practice, uh, our Medispa, we have our own skincare line, so we do also offer various creams to help improve texture and quality. 
The point of creams is basically to help create a barrier to protect the skin from the environment as well as to create some type of moisture rich environment so that the hydration of the dead skin layer actually uh, or called the stratum corneum actually causes the, the skin to look better. Eyelid skin can be very very delicate. We've had patients who use um, a lot of concealer and makeup and when they get rid of that, take off that makeup at night, they're using an astringent which can be very, very harsh and it causes the skin to get dry and often causes irregularities and more wrinkling which then naturally leads to using more concealer. So I think you should meet with a specialist who does a lot of work with dark circles to get a better perspective on what your options are. You know, these, I've described a lot of different solutions and one of the greatest frustrations people have with dark circles is um, getting the wrong pr uh, uh, solution for the wrong problem or expectations disproportionate to what kind of outcome is uh, more realistic. So just meet with a professional, a physician who understands this very well and learn your options and, and take it from there. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck and thank you for your question.